this is cutting into my personal time. I was actually boxing up my leftovers, but go figure. <laughs> Justin, come on out. <laughs> so welcome to the family. Thank you. Uh, uh, Justin, of course, uh, has been with Food & Wine Culinary Director, working, you know, in the trenches of the Food & Wine uh, test kitchens. Boy, tough job. Gotta love it, right? It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it, right? It's true. <laughs> uh, I, I have to say, I bought the 12 quart stock pot. I'll, I'll probably give you a little peek at that ag again. This is this is something else that I bought from the show. I'm in love with this. Not only does it give you power, so you can do omelets, you can do meringues, you could do a brownie mix, you could do salad dressing. So I thank you, my helpful assistant. <laughs> All with a stainless steel. I call it kind of an adjustable accelerator. And then I'm just going to show you. I'm going to hold this up, Jeff, and uh, I don't know, I won't go to the what you get yet. This is the largest capacity food processing attachment I have ever, ever, ever seen us do that's basically free. That's basically free. Normally, even for in that, you know, $99 or $129 price range, you're getting roughly like a cup and a half. I don't think it's really even a two cup capacity mm. because they're so shallow. So you can do ice cream in this, which uh, Justin is going to do. And we were talking about the quality of the food and wine cookware that we did here exclusively at HSN. I can do my butternut squash. I can rice my mm -hmm. mashed potatoes directly in the cookware, right? Absolutely. And you know, one of the things that I love about this is exactly what you just described, it's versatility. Yeah, it but is. you know, one of the best features about this, and it happens to be my favorite feature, is this immersion blender, the stick blender. The stick. Stainless because steel. Because, exactly, yeah. stainless steel, which means it's easy to clean. You can right. basically just rinse it in the sink. Yeah. Or, you know, or like, I mean, it's it's so right. simple to clean. So I you, can't even go. Yeah. And, <laughs> it's, so you know, it's so funny. We say the attachments. You know, the, the, where the motor is housed. Obviously, you don't put that in dishwasher. But the other stuff is dishwasher safe. But frankly, you're not going to need this dishwasher. Mm -hmm. So what, what what's going on in here? So we're making a little tomato soup. Okay. It's end of the tomato season, so yeah. we want to go ahead and use up all those tomatoes. You know, okay. and I just want you to see this. Yeah. So I mean, the best thing about this is, you know, one of the things that when you make soups like this, pureed soups, is that you're going to need to puree and batches and pureeing it in batches means you need to bring the stove to the blender or the pot to the blender but in this case we're actually bringing the blender to the stove yeah. you know it's saving it's i mean have you ever tried carrying a big pot of soup across the kitchen oh jeez <laughs> I mean, it's not right. its not or, a fun thing to do. Or it's so funny, because I have Andrew and Marielle's uh, cookbook, Andrew Lesman and Marielle, and normally when I make her soups, I'm pouring it into that big blender, like you said. I have had more than one pea soup explosion in my kitchen than I care to even admit. I mean, you know, where it's on the ceiling and everything else. So you get the power, you get the versatility. Justin, I'm just, after you do this, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna show off what they get as well. So that is a vortex of power. Over to um, the what you get area just so I can show off everything that's included because it is massive for less than $20. The big thing you need to realize is this is for today and for today only. So, oh, that looks so luscious. I mean, look at this beautiful <gasps> tomato soup. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I mean, I did that in probably just a minute, right? Oh, yeah. And this is, is enough for, I would say, a family of six or oh, a family yeah. of four. No, I would too. Hey, I should also point out um, that soup pot that Justin is demonstrating in. There are 50 of them, which mm -hmm. is so funny, like 5 0. <laughs> and uh, oh, perfect. It, oh, thank you guys. I'm just going to show you what you're getting. And the really cool thing for me is y you're getting, I I've never seen an immersion blender value like this. I, I just haven't. And you know what, Jeff? We can go as close as possible because I just, I want to really showcase some of the attachments here. This should not be $20. For this alone, I have sold other, you know, immersion blenders with ricers. They've never been in stainless steel. To my knowledge, they do not exist. So whether it's avocado mash or riced cauliflower, I mean, you name it, this is going to give you amazing results. Here's your stainless steel shaft and wand. Now check this out. Basically, you're buying an immersion blender, and guess what? You're getting a food processor for free. I'm serious about this. This actually, you know what the standard capacity is on an immersion blender, you know, wand. 
you know, they're, I mean, they have their purpose certainly, but they're not this. This is just under seven cups and then we're still not done. So you get your chopping blade, you get, now this is your little aerator. Now the crazy thing is maybe you want to make chocolate whipped cream. Maybe you want to make pumpkin flavored whipped cream. Maybe you want to make fat free whipped cream from skim milk. There's your shredding disc. So from chocolate to cheeses, there's your balloon whisk. And here's that, what I call that little adjustable therm, you know, uh, accelerator, if you will, so that you can get, you know, all the torque that you want, but you can back off and be a little more delicate depending on the job that you're doing. I ordered mine before the show. Actually, I think my producer, Allison, is going to be ordering this too because, you know, the thing is, Justin, a lot of us have... Like, I'll give you an example. The blender that I have in my kitchen, it's the one that, you know, is in the professional food kitchens. It was almost $400. And, and it's great, but like you said, it's kind of clunky. It's kind of cumbersome. It's not going to the stovetop with me. So whatever I put in it, it's just another thing for me to clean. This couldn't be easier or more versatile or more powerful in the kitchen. It's almost like an extension of your hand in a lot of ways. Exactly. And, you know, I like to think of this as, like, your prep kit. Yes. You know, it has all the things you need to, like, prep everything yep. you want to prep. And you know, one of the things I love about this is you can make a huge batch of salad dressing. You can. And check this out. So I just have this, you know, this large jar here. I'm gonna, I ha in it, I have all my salad yep. dressing ingredients. I have my oil, I have my vinegar, I have a little bit of mustard, and I'm just gonna go ahead and puree it. Okay. And then I wanna show you this on the top of the stick blender as well after we get this going here. I just wanna show you how to increase the speed. And in this case, I mean, this is working so well already that yeah, I don't even need I mean, to increase the speed. Say. But I really want to show it to you. So if you look at this, I'm just increasing the speed just a little bit. Right. And can you hear that? Yeah, you can. It's getting louder and louder. More torque. More torque. And that's so simple. Or you can just use this handy dandy little turbo button nice. here. Which goes automatically to the highest, oh, highest speed. Oh, so you get it. all that power. And I mean, check that out. Beautiful. I just made... I think over a week's <laughs> worth of salad dressing you did. But in you just know, a matter of seconds. It's so interesting. If you, whether you have dietary restrictions or not, like in the past, I, 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 I you know, danced with the idea of doing paleo. <sighs> and a lot of those salad dressings, you don't realize there are hidden sugars, mm -hmm. there are, you know, hidden ingredients that you don't want. The ingredients you can't even pronounce. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. And, now, do you know what? I have never ooh. seen a stainless steel, like, ricing or mashing attachment ever in any immersion or stick and that's that's one of the things that we thought about when we were designing this product. We thought, what is going to set this apart? What yeah. is going to make this special? What is this going to? What is going to give this the food and wine edge? Yeah. And you know, the stainless steel in this case for this masher is is exactly what is doing that. And what's amazing is I just made, I think five or six or seven jars of you baby food. Did. I mean, check that out. It's carrot, but you can also do peas. You could do beets. You could. You can do um, really anything you want. You could. Because the masher attachment, what it does is it pulls the food up from the bottom, and there's this little paddle that pushes it through the top like a food mill. Sure. Or like a ricer. But... We didn't buy a food mill, we didn't buy a ricer. Right. We bought this immersion blender, which comes with the masher attachment. It, absolutely, I, I can tell you, because I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm doing a purge in the household. I'm, I'm paying it forward. Everybody at HSN is benefiting, but I'm gonna get rid of my food processor. And listen, it, it's a great food processor. I spent about $129 here at HSN for it, but it's a food processor. And frankly, the capacity is really not any larger than this. So if you only, if you, I forget, maybe you're even saying, oh, I want a stick, you know, or immersion blender, get it for the food processor. Processor, or get it to make ice cream, right? Is that what you're doing here? Oh, yeah, so food processor. Yes. Everyone asks me all the time, like, what's the one thing I need to buy? Yeah. And I say, well, first of all, you need to buy this immersion <laughs> right? blender because it comes with everything. But if I had to tell you, you need a food processor. But one of the issues that I have is the bowl, and I think you mentioned this earlier, yeah. the bowl is oftentimes either too small or it's oh, way too big. It is or you sure. get those ones that come with the nesting bowls, yeah, like the Russian dolls, those. and then you end up having to find a place to put them on the counter. Yeah. Now, I just want to show you how amazing this is because I put two ingredients in here. Yeah. Okay. I put strawberries, frozen strawberries, all right. and I put sweetened condensed milk. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. And now just give me a minute. All right. Watch this. You can see it, you know. You can see it. I right mean, before your very eyes. Do you see that color change? Right. It went from the chunky strawberries and the creamy, yeah. sweetened condensed milk. And I can't wait to open this for okay. you. Okay. Now, the, one of the great things I love about oh, this come on. is that you, was just a couple seconds. You that was that, just right? a couple seconds. But I did that a couple seconds because I actually like a little chunks in my yeah, strawberry yeah, yeah. ice cream because that's what I just made. Oh! 
awesome. I made almost instant strawberry ice cream. Okay. It's one of my favorite kitchen hacks of all time. Look at that. And I'm gonna make you a little bowl because you're two gonna love this. Ingredients. Two, two ingredients. Two ingredients, okay. You have two oh, ingredients, so strawberry ice cream. This, yummy. at this point, it's soft serve, obviously. Right. I like soft, yeah. But if perfect. you oh. pop it in the freezer, you get regular ice cream, oh, and it's two ingredients. Say, look at that, isn't I mean, that crazy? check that out. But you know, so it's only natural sugars. So if you do have someone mm -hmm. who's watching their sugars, you know, watching their, you know, all those things. Again, this is your natural sugars, but look at, can you guys see how creamy this is? I think you need to take a taste. I know, look at that. <laughs> all hands, look at that, I know. All hands on deck, look check that out. Look how creamy that is. So I call this my almost instant ice cream. Mm. You can grab it in the Mad Genius That's Tips good. cookbook. That, oh, along good. with other recipes, you can make that with mango, by the way, or blueberries. Mangoes and blueberries also oh, work no super kidding. well. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, so wow. we, oh, I hey, think we want to get way, to the shredder app. Justin, so sorry to, no. to interrupt, but if you want Justin's book, there are a hundred of them. Final 100. And it's just, uh, it's such a fun book. I mean, it's a great read. Love the pictures. Um, you know, little tips that you did, like pitting cherries, right? Pit I mean, little cherries. things that, huh, who would have thunk it? Right? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it, right? So, uh, potato waffles. Potato waffles. Who That's knew? actually the recipe for our little loaded oh, potatoes we really? had earlier tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, make this. That's what we made <laughs> for today's special. All right, sorry to interject there. What are you going to do for us next? We're going to use the shredder disc. Okay. Cool. So, you know, you get your little, sh you get your right. awesome shredder which disc. Which is free, basically. Which is free because yeah. you're getting like five or six, I know. you know, cuckoo. things in here. It's but cuckoo. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a really fun you know, better version of Mexican style cheese. So, you know, you go to the store, you buy the Mexican style cheese, and it's covered in cornstarch because they want to keep it from sticking. Sure. But then, of course, it has all those preservatives yeah, in it. Yeah, no, So instead true. of that, make your own at home. Okay. So just add, this is a half a, half a pound of cheese. Oh, look at how it just plows through that. Oh, I think I have it set on slicer. <laughs> <laughs> I like sliced I have it, cheese I have too. it set on slicer. I put it in backwards. So that's a really good point, ladies and gentlemen. Not only does it shred, but it slices. Right. So but you know what? That is an excellent point. Because remember, you can slice, you can shred, you can puree, you can chop, you can blend, you can whisk. Mm -hmm. You're getting all of those attachments. Mm -hmm. And remember, the genius is for less than you would spend for a standard immersion blender, this basically is a four-in-one. So it, it's less than $20. It's free shipping. As per all the items that we have in f with food and wine today, they are all exceedingly limited in quantities. All right, so just, okay, so you just, that's all you that's do? That's all you do. You flip it upside down. Oh, come on. So silly me, when I was putting this together earlier, I put it upside down. So you could see here, you see the little sharp blade there? Yeah. I love to slice radishes on that. Oh. Radishes, small turnips, oh, cucumber, that. make your little cucumber salad, mix yes. it with a little yogurt. But I'm then you flip it around it. and then you get your okay. beautiful shredder blades. You Could see I do there? chocolates and stuff with that too? Oh, sure. Oh, put oh, a nice. little, shred a little chocolate in, put a yeah. little chocolate in here, shred it, put nice. it on top of that almost instant ice cream we made. Why not? <laughs> I mean, seriously. And, and oh, the other thing, Justin, basically everything just attaches really easily too. Mm -hmm. It's not like you need a special tool that I love about this is because, you know, you have your unit, you have your motor, yes. right? And then you just convert it to all your different tools. Yeah. So you just, so you just push smart, the little buttons here, comes right off, I know. you put it onto your masher attachment, you yep. put it onto your puree or attach it, attachment, and you get all these appliances in one. You do under, under one roof, which if you're trying to consolidate and streamline a household like I am, this is this is you know perfect because right now I've got an immersion blender, then I got a food processor, but this this might be my favorite attachment. So describe what you're so doing. I'm gonna here. ask you to hold this up okay. for the ladies and gentlemen who All are watching. Right. Sounds good. And so this is the emulsif the emulsifying blade. Yep. I like to call it the flapper. Yes. I like to call it the flapper. And here I'm adding some heavy cream okay. to the flapper. Right. You know, right into the bowl of the food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. Gotcha. Now I want, you're gonna be, your mind is gonna be blown right now. All right. Because what I'm gonna do yeah. is I'm gonna make whipped cream. Okay, oh wait, Justin, here. I'm gonna move this to the side, Jeff. Does that help? Can you, uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Oops, Let's sorry, do sorry, that. sorry. There we go, so everybody can see. Can you see this? Okay, yep. it's gonna splatter up the side, so it's gonna be hard to see, but I want you to see how amazing this yeah. is. You could 
make now your check own this butter. out. I yeah. mean, how long was that? Did somebody time that? Oh, I mean, less than 60 seconds, I would I say. I mean, look at oh, this. Oh, I love whipped cream. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Can you see that? Oh, I my mean, goodness. I mean, that is perfectly whipped cream. I mean, this is what I like I to call medium pe peaks. I can't help But you can do firm peaks. And actually, mm. I actually want to show you this because I know we have a little bit of time. Right. Watch, if, watch what happens if I keep going. Okay. Check this out. in there and then you get those amazing compound butters that chefs are using in restaurants they're putting on top of their steaks yep and i mean save the money but this is going to blow your mind okay. even more okay because we've done our heavy cream we've yep. made our but you know so what if you're on a diet cream, right what if you're on a diet so this is what skim milk this is skim milk skim milk guys skim milk check right. this out put our little oh, I am motor doing on this. here i am so doing this. i mean i'm telling you yeah <laughs> you can i mean not only are we going to make You guys crazy. see in here? Like, check out how big you this is. Doing that, like a couple seconds, I can already see the consistency change. I mean, you can already tell because oh, the quantity, my word. the quantity that I had in the bowl, yeah. has changed. Oh wow! I mean, this is insane. This I mean, is crazy. this is blowing my mind, and this I'm the one like, doing it. I'm the one demonstrating this, <laughs> and this is blowing my mind. Check this out. Oh my gosh! Look at oh, this. Come on. Let me show you this. Okay, that. That's skim this milk. This was skim milk. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at this. Yeah. You put it right on oh, your berries. Man. Look at this. I'm going to show this again. Look at how oh, much. That's yummy. I mean, can you see that? I don't, can I be honest? I might even like that better than the heavy cream. And I'm you serious. don't have to worry about it. It's guiltless. No, it's like guilt This is guiltless it's guilt whipped free. cream. Look at that. But like I said, maybe mm. it's whipped cream, but maybe it's the foam for your latte. Right. Right? I mean, this is a mad genius tip, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do uh, at Food sure. & Wine. We make you it happen. Add, yeah. I mean, you could <laughs> add amaretto. Oh, now you're talking. A little Kahlua. A little Kahlua, a little whipped, Kahlua whipped cream. Kahlua. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we want to get back to the blade. Okay. Right, so the food processor. So we got our cauliflower, right? Yeah. I think we talked about this earlier. If you were watching, you're going to learn how we make this. I just put cauliflower florets in yeah. here. <laughs> check this out. I know. Okay, it's so funny because I was going to actually say what my producer Allison just said. I, I I cheat at home. I buy the stuff that's already, you know, riced from the grocery store. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One little carafe is anywhere from five to seven dollars, depending on how big it is. That's half your flex pay right there, give or take. I mean, on, on one use. And I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. Yeah. I'm just going to sprinkle it out here. Nice. This is your cauliflower rice. Yeah. You're going to stir fry this. You're going to steam it and mix it with herbs and a little tiny bit sure. of butter. And there you go. You have yeah. your, your faux couscous. You do. Forget the pasta. Forget the rice. Yeah. Go with the cauliflower rice. And I'm telling you, you can't tell the difference. I mean, you really cannot tell the difference. I mean, I'm not even kidding. This. And the thing is, the, the calories you save alone. And, you know, the thing is, a lot of times we just want that texture. Mm -hmm. It's not even, mm -hmm. you know, we don't want the carbs per se. We just want that texture. Okay, so, Justin, what are you going to do uh, next for us? Well, we got two things. Okay. I'm just going to describe them both in case we only get to one. But we're going to make salmon burgers. We're oh, going nice. to make berry smoothie. Oh, I love do it. You, should we do this together? Oh, okay. Here, how about you do this? Okay. I'll or how treat. about you do that? All right. So. so you're gonna make salmon burgers. I'm okay. gonna make smoothie. All right. Am I ready? I'm gonna yep. go here. We're going. It's a race. Okay. A race to the finish. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna try to get this out of the way for the camera. That helped you. Okay. There you go. Okay. I don't know. Do I want it a little chunkier? What do you think, Justin? I, you could do whatever you want. You put. If you push a little longer for smooth. You stop okay. for chunky. I think that's good. You think you're okay. good. Okay. All right. I did good. <laughs> you did, did really good. I didn't even have a tutorial for heaven's sake. Show, I'm gonna show you this because check this out. Oh, Look at meat. this. Can you see this? Oh, yeah. You just ground you grind meat. fresh salmon. Fresh salmon you ground. Do you know how much you pay mm, for ground salmon uh, at the yeah, store? Yeah. I and, mean. And, I, and here's a little secret insider yeah. tip. Guess what? Huh. Most of the time when you buy the ground salmon at the store, right? it's the old salmon. 
It's the stuff they're trying oh, to get rid of. I bet it because is. Because you're not buying it as a soleil because it doesn't look good. It doesn't smell good. So that they're grinding it up with sense. herbs to disguise it, and then they're selling it to you as ground salmon. But you know what? Make that. your own at home. Save the money. Buy the salmon in bulk. Wow. Okay. So it's it's less than it's a twenty dollar bill. I got mine. I hope you got yours because there are now fewer than three thousand for the whole day.